in this video i'm going to talk about the difference between the supervised and the unsupervised learning algorithms so to understand these two concepts i'll take an example here so let's try to understand how a small baby uh, you know learn things well say for example uh, you know we have given two uh, pictures we have uh, shown him two pictures one is the picture of an apple and the other one is a picture of banana now um, you know we will tell the baby that um, the first picture the first picture is apple uh, and the uh, second one is that of uh, banana so the so the baby uh, you know when it, while learning these two things uh, keeps in mind that uh, if the picture uh, the the fruit in the picture is red and it's circular uh, or spherical then it's apple uh, and if if the color is yellow and it's uh, not spherical then it's banana so that's how uh, the baby learns now we showed him third picture which is uh, not circular and not yellow yellow either and asks the baby to a categorized into uh, either apple or banana well what the baby has learned in the first case uh, it's going to use that learning and uh, and and the baby is going to uh, you know categorize the picture that we have uh, shown in either of these categories now in, this is called supervised learning in which uh, the ba uh, we have shown um, we have labeled the uh, pictures into two categories so the baby knows beforehand that what is a banana and what is an apple so the moment you show uh, him a banana he is able to categorize that into the banana category okay so that's known as the supervised learning algorithm uh, learning and of course when you put that into algorithm it's known as supervised learning algorithm the next case is unsupervised learning algorithm well in this case uh, we have shown him one picture which has got uh, the uh, dogs and cats the baby hasn't seen dogs and cats ever so he doesn't know uh, what are the features of uh, a dog and what are the features of a cat so he is not able to categorize them as dog and cat like the one like uh, like the baby did in the previous case in the previous case the baby knew that what is a banana and what is a uh, uh, what is an apple because we have we had already uh, shown him the pictures and you know he was able to understand by the features of uh, the two respective uh, pictures but in this case baby hasn't seen such a pictures the pictures of you know dogs and uh, cat separately so so the, there is no labeling as such in the sense that uh, the baby is not able to uh, you know uh, exactly categorize uh, these two types now the baby uh, the one thing that the baby can do is that uh, it cannot say which one is dog and which one is uh, cat but it can at least categorize uh, this five uh, you know um, animals into uh, you know similar or similar categories like you know the baby could say that well uh, this picture this picture and this picture look similar I don't know what they are uh, but yeah the first third and the fifth one are similar so maybe they are of one category and then uh, the second and third also look similar uh, because the height uh, you know is, is different so maybe the second and a third um, animal are of same category so it will say the first second and third animal in the picture are of one category and then sorry first third and the fifth and then the, it will also say that the second and the uh, fourth animal in the picture are of another category now labeling it as dog or cat is not possible because it uh, the baby uh, don't know uh, about any anything about dogs and uh, you know cats 
so that's known as unsupervised uh, learning wherein you actually don't label uh, your data in the previous case we uh, the baby uh, was uh, given this information of labeling uh, but here in this case we have not shown him dog and cat before uh, and we haven't uh, you know labeled them as dogs and cats so let's take a practical problem uh, well a marketing manager could face something like this now uh, the marketing man manager wants to uh, email uh, to his existing customer and um, uh, the objective is that um, the email will be accepted by the uh, customer and the customer is going to uh, make a purchase now the cust uh, the marketing manager has the following data with him uh, it has already sent you know a bunch of emails say for example four emails and uh, there are some customer attributes which is uh, which are available with the marketing manager so one attribute is income so the customer knows uh, the customer's income is there with the marketing manager and whether the customer has purchased uh, uh, by looking at the email uh, that the marketing manager has sent is also there so if a customer has purchased something it's one either else it's zero right so this is history that means this was uh, this data is uh, for the cust past customers okay now what if a new customer comes how do we ensure that uh, it it will be leveled as one or zero a customer which is you know most probably going to make a purchase or not by looking at the income is it possible well the new customer has an income of 1200 okay now look at uh, the, the income of customers uh, with with email uh, indicator or um, you know who has somebody uh, somebody who has already purchased is one that is three thousand and uh, well this is also four thousand okay so three thousand and four thousand that means the income level is quite high on the other hand uh, if the income level is quite low then the customer hasn't purchased so uh, well twelve hundred is something that is close to 1500 right 1500 and here it's 2000 okay that means uh, customers with uh, income greater than 3000 is making a purchase with the email and anything less than 3000 is not going to make a purchase so if a new customer comes and his income is 1200 uh, so he is going to be categorized or labeled as is not going to purchase that means zero right so that's the case of a supervised learning algorithm where uh, you know the learning is happening by labeling so here is a labeling we know that somebody is going to make a purchase or not okay by looking at the uh, past data now if this particular indicator is not present okay so you don't know uh, beforehand that uh, who has really purchased and who has not right so you only have the income level okay and the same company goes to a new market right so in a new market you do not have historical data, historical data right you do not have data for your past customers so you do not really know anything about uh, how the customers behave in a particular country so in the us market us you know company comes to india and you know it doesn't know how uh, the purchase behavior with it's it's related to the income of people in india so uh, so it only has the income of people so now uh, by using uh, the unsupervised learning algorithm it can at least categorize the income into two categories or two levels okay uh, although it nothing can be said about the purchasing behavior so if you look at the first two columns you know the income is 1500 and 2000 and the next uh, 4000 4500 and 5000 5, respectively now the uh, first two data and the next three data you know you, you can group together and you know there is a significant difference so if you plot it also income so the first two will come here and the next two will come here so this is of one category and the other one is also of another category so the company can or the manager can uh, categorize them as low earning and high earning uh, income group so that's how you categorize a data but you cannot label uh, uh, their uh, you know purchasing behavior 
just by looking at uh, you know these two categories but it really helps to you know uh, in number of ways in for market segmentation and for different market uh, marketing campaign and, and, and so on so so the the you know the takeaway point here is that in unsupervised uh, learning the data is not labeled that means you do not know um, the categories of uh, the data that you have uh, and you still make uh, or you still find to uh, try to find the pattern in the data